Wagwa people, we are back. Ripping City, episode 68, brothers. And we're kicking things off straight away. A little bit of Premier League action with Fulham. We've got Chelsea first versus second, even though we're 84 points clear. We've also got England's game against Finland, a game against Man City and Norwich City in the building. So the first game we played against Fulham at Craven Cottage. We managed to get all three points. We are pushing our way towards this title. And Guerrero sneaked in after rebound, got that first early goal for us. But yeah, the league has been pretty much, I wouldn't say sewn up. Mathematically, Chelsea can catch us. They do need to beat us today. But I think we need to lose every game to end the season for them to catch us, really. We're about 12, 13 points clear. It's more the Champions League we're going to be looking at as well. Obviously, we won the Carabao Cup. We are out of the FA Cup. But in the league, we are beasting. And I have no idea I've shown that highlight there. But <laughs> Leeds did try and <laughs> chip the keeper. The keeper made a mistake, though. Threw it out to Krajic. Laird coming in for Hancock today. Gave the ball away again. But there was Leeds. The spin move turns. And oh, my goodness. <laughs> Someone called 911 for that goalkeeper. Oh, my Lord. Get a defib. My Lord. He leads with the left Pegasus from hell. Top bins, indeed. And we won 2-0 at Craven Cottage. Look at Riley Short running around like he's Joe Hart. Back in the day. So yeah, after that win, as you can see, we were 19 points clear. So yeah, 10 games to go. We are looking good for this title, to be honest. What a season we've had. So on to one of the main games. Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. We know it's going to be a tight old affair. <clears throat> the players are getting a bit tired now. We are playing a lot of games. But can we get the W here? If we win this, the title's pretty much sewn up. It's done. So Chelsea starting with Bijla and goal. Right, Reese James, Ezio, Ampadu, Santos, Chill. How many defenders do you need? Hudson Norris, Lukaku's played centre mid. <laughs> Every single season on this one, Lukaku has played centre mid. Do they think he's Kante or something? What's going on? Hudson Odoi, Lukaku, centre mid. I mean, really? We're going with the usual suspects. Riley Short in goal. We've got Laird, Van Dijk, Timber, Lima in the back. Jude Bellingham, Demir, Tyler Adams in there, Captain America version 2. Krajic, Harley Lees, the bad boy Balotelli Rippon, and Fabio Paniera, the new Cristiano Ronaldo, baby. Right, let's get into this. Come on, man. Let's get this W. Let's end this season. Give Chelsea those woes. So, again, like I say, it's going to be a tight old affair. Not many chances this game. We look at Chelsea's back line. I mean, it's like the 300. I mean, come on, man. There's a ball whipped in. Oh, deal with well, though. I kept thinking that was David Luiz, but this is Ampadu. This is love child. Here's Chiwo now to Lukaku, the centre midfield maestro apparently. Here's Callum hudson Adoy though, back to Kai Havertz. Back inside, hudson Adoy shoots from distance, hits the stanchion, kills the ball boy and smashes a cup of tea out of somebody's face. Oh my lord, here comes Chelsea again now, ball whipped in. Callum hudson Adoy with the corner, will get the rebound, it's chipped in again, they've got a man back, stick! I do believe it was Lukaku, oh no it's not, I think that's Santos Giza. Alright, into the second half, it's been a poor game so far. Like I said, both teams just cancel each other out, defensively doing so well. But here's Demir now. Jude Bellingham's found a bit of space. Spin moves. Jude Bellingham. Oh, what a save by Bijou. Or Bijou, or I don't know what his damn name is. All right, here's Kai Havertz, though. Tries to break past Van Dyke. So anything with Van Dyke, he's got no damn pace. Now he's 45 years old. There's a ball whipped in. There's a man back stick. He's falling in. How the hell did we not defend that? Callum Hudson Odoi. It's a knockdown at the back stick by Lukaku. And Callum Hudson-Odoi gets the first goal for Chelsea. The game needed something, man. My lordy. All right, Chelsea won. Remember, I mean, we're still going to be a good 16 points clear, even if we lose this game. But we're not going to lose against the main rivals. Good pressure there, though, by Krejic. Come on. We've got eight minutes to go. Ripon have, to be honest, only had a couple of chances so far. Here's Guerrero. He's on for Demir to Krejic. Nice little ball inside. There's Harry Lee, surely. A save again by Bijlal. Damn nuts. Rebound again, Guerrero. Falls the Leeds one more time. Oh my goodness, Chelsea riding their luck. Stays 1 0. Into the final few minutes now. Come on, Ripon, I've got to do something. Should be yellow card in there. My god, Panietta's got taken out. But here's higher Leeds with a bit of space again. Tries to get round one man. Nice little ball through. There's Kreitz. Back across. Jude Bellingham and again another save from the Chelsea keeper. Ripon throwing everything at him, but have the left it too late. Here's Captain America. Ah, ball's rebounding through. Come on, get the rebound. Van Dijk, nicely done. We need to win this ball back if they clear it. Chelsea have got all three points and bragging rights more than anything. Oh, let's keep it all of it. It does end. Chelsea won, rip and nil. And to be fair, we were piss poor. We were absolutely shocking in that. Maybe a couple of chances, that was it. <sighs> Bigger fish to fry one day, boys. Don't worry about it. But it's Chelsea won, rip and nil. <sighs> Gotta do this damn interview ting now and on, man. I hate losing games. Uh, Ripon finally takes a defeat for the first time in a long time. 
how can you vets on a incredible run? That would be quite nice, to be fair, bro. Yeah, all good things come to an end, brother. You know what I'm saying? It has to be done sometimes. But disappointed performance, to be fair. We should have done better here, but the pitch was terrible. Tough to save Ripon for City fans. That's two defeats against Chelsea. Do you have to accept they're just better right team right now? What the hell are you smoking? Bruh. They're that good. They're 16 points behind still after beating us. Come on, man. Don't give me that dookie, bro. We lost two games so far this season in the Premier League. We've done a brilliant. Seemed like a difficult game between two pretty much evil sides. Uh, are your boys a little bit short on belief? What? See, you started off nice, man. This is what I'm talking about, man. You come down here, you give me these questions, you start off cool, and all of a sudden you start acting like a dick, man. Don't don't be like that. Don't be like that, okay, man? Just show some respect, Thanks all right? So much for answering our all right, cool, man. I'm out. I mean, liberties, bro. We're champions in the weight, and this guy's giving me grief like this, man. So, as you can see, we're 16 points clear with nine games to go. It will need an absolute collapse for us to lose this league title now, though, but we've got to press on. So. We go from club duty to international duty for your booty. England versus Finland. Uh, we are, what, three points clear at the top of the group. We need to beat Finland, really, to keep that trucking along. We've got two more games after this for England. And we are qualified for the Euros at the end of next season. So Tammy Abraham made the squad this time. Session's in there as well. I keep rotating the strikes. Harry Kane is about 35 now. So Carver Lewin made the last squad. I thought I'd give uh, Tammy Abraham a go, see how he is. But Gomez and Guy at the back as well. Trent keeps his place. Uh, Finland, all the Yainans and Yaskalainans and Jensens, you can imagine. Glenn Kamara is one of the main names you'll know. Daniel O'Shaganassi. <laughs> That's one of the least finished name ever. <laughs> oh, is he actually finished? Am I, am I, am I just taking liberties here? Anyway, let's get into this. Here's Sancho. Nice the ball outside to Mason Mount. Mount from distance. Oh my goodness. The keeper's wearing tracky bottoms. Why the hell's his keeper's come from JD Sports? <laughs> what the hell's he got? He's got them two 15 pound tracksuit bottoms on. There's a ball whipped in. Oh, Ali Lee's trying to get there. What the hell's this guy doing? It's Curtis Jones. Oh, the bar. That keeper looks like somebody's dad. Oh, Lee to the rebound. It's 1 0. Never trust a goalkeeper wearing tracky bottoms. That's all I'm going to say. What is he doing? Oh, this guy literally was late. You know when he plays Sunday League football and he always a player down and he's either in the pub or he's just making his way around the corner. This guy turned up with his damn long johns on from bed. What the hell is he wearing? <laughs> All right, let's get this. Come on, man. 20 minutes played now. It's one nil England. We're looking good so far. Here's a Rassen. Shot from distance. Oh, my goodness. Not even from distance. <laughs> Finland have equalised. What the hell's going on? It's 1-1. Who is that guy? Oh my lordy. Looks like Mark Wright from Towie. It's another shot from Finland. It's 2 1. Wait a minute. Whoa, back up, back up. What's going on? Two goals in five minutes. I'm taking the Michael out of Finland, but we're 2 0 down to Finland. What the hell is going on? A population of six, and we're getting beat. What is this about? All right, here's Harley Lees now. Come on, England. Let's go. To get a goal for half time. Here's Sancho. Nice little ball inside. Let's make some mount deflected. Mount gets a rebound. Mount, there we go. My lord, if we got score passes, I mean, somebody's dad, then I'm, I'm fuming. Look at that guy. 2 2 here for England. Why on earth are we going to see two goals to Finland? I don't know. A nice little move inside. And in the end, Mason Mount gets his rebound and slots it in the corner. My lordy. All right. Still in the first half though, Finland again, the defending, shocking, what's going on, Finland are in again, more time, and Riley Short saves our blushes, where the rest of my centre-backs, man, what the hell, right into the second half, Finland again attacking us, what is going on, somebody piss test this Finland team, here's Jensen, nice little, oh, good step overs and everything, in the end, Gomez manages to keep it in play and clear his lines, here's Jaden Sancho, what can we do, England frustrated so far, Sancho, oh, hooray, Sancho's damn ankles, oh, come on, man, I want some damn compensation for this. All right, Sessignon's on now for Chilwell. Can he make a difference at the back? Here's Declan Rice. We have got some tired legs, but still, this is just ridiculous. We need to win this game. Here's Declan Rice. A little ball inside to Mason Mount. Play back across to Curtis Jones. Nice little switch player. Beautiful. There's High Lees. Beautiful. The top goal scorer in the European qualifications. And it's this man again. Harley Lees finally restores some damn normality back to this game. Beautiful play from England. Nice little side rule pass. Look at that. And then Haile Lee's first time. Keeper was rooted in his damn 15 pound pants. All right, six, six minutes played. Ball played in. Oh, Tammy Abraham's going for the over kick. He's what are you doing, Tammy? Sancho with the shot, though. In the end, Finland clear their lines. England have rested Haile Lee's. 
Tammy Abraham's arm. Can he do something himself? Here's Curtis Jones now. Has a little move. Curtis Jones, a little spin back inside. There's Tammy Abraham. He's blocked on the line. What a save by that goalkeeper. Someone's dad is earning his pound today. Here's Phil Foden. Ball inside to Mason Mount. What can Mount do? Nicely done to Sancho. Sancho finds Tammy Abraham on this side. Tammy Abraham, surely there it is. 4-2. The damage is done. England will get all three points, surely. My Lord, we've made hard work of this game. But Tammy Abraham comes on to score. And I'm impressed. I like him. I'm impressed. He's got the same sort of physicality as Lee's. That same sort of build. So you never know. He may have someone that can do that backup for us. Look at that. Watch out for somebody's dad. I mean, look at them tracky bottoms, bro. You're a nightmare cleaning the mud off them tonight. All right, 89th minute now. England trying to press on for a fifth goal. Make these look a bit more uh, suitable for us. Here's Tammy Abraham. Oh, referee. Come on, man. All right, here's Rassen. Let's cut back inside. Nicely done to Jensen. Kamara. It looks like this could be the final little chance, though, for Finland. Can they get some kind of compilation back? Compilation, compensation. Here's Kovula. Again, going nowhere fast. Come on, just end it, man. Referee blows down whistle. Nicely done, Sancho. And there we go. England will get all three points. Second, oh, second half a lot easier than the first. The first half, nervy, nervy as hell. But England four, Finland two. And that means we are now six points clear at the top of the league. Now, thanks to Wales have snuck back in there. But England at the moment, just that one draw. So we had two more games to finish this episode off. We then then to Carroll Road. As you know, we are, what, 16 points clear with nine games to go. So there's still, what, 20 on play, points to play for. So I reckon another three, maybe four wins, and we were champions. And we went on the road straight away. Harley Lee's early doors. Panyada, three minutes in. Norwich doing what Norwich do. Come up, go back down again. Come up, go back down again. I don't see the point. Just, just stay in your lane, bros. So 1-0. And to be fair, they gave us a good game and it took us to the 90th minute to find our second goal. Jude Bellingham played the ball around to Harley Lees, looking for Demir, went outside to Kreitz, back into Leeds again, laid it across to Tyler Adams, who played it inside and there was that man again, Paniera with the finish. And Rippon got all three points and again, another step closer towards that Premier League title. Can we retain that title? Look at me, what the hell am I celebrating that much for? My lord, I'm just happy to get the bloody Norwich. <laughs> but it's freezing down here, man. So yeah, 2 0 win at Carroll Road. That set us up nicely. Uh, we then went back to 19 points clear over Chelsea. Chelsea had the game in hand though. Uh, and then we introduced Man City. Again, the team was shattered by now. So I had to rotate a little bit. And unfortunately, Man City did us over. A 1 0 defeat at home. Again, we rarely lose at home. But yeah, these things happen. I'm not too concerned. Like I said, we've only got maybe what, eight games left after this, or seven, sorry. We're still massively clear. I think we're going to be okay. But Gabriel Jesus scored the winning goal after 21 minutes. And we just couldn't get back into it. We had a few chances. We just could not find the back of the net. So 1-0 defeat. So two defeats in this episode. Defeat. That's rare, man. Once against uh, Chelsea. One against Man City. Wins either side that are though. So like I said, it was still 16 points clear over Liverpool. Potentially over Chelsea's worth of win their game in hand. With seven games to go. So what's that? 21 points. So yeah, another five points and we are champions, brother. We could potentially be champions in the next episode. So, looking at that, Man City. I mean, how is Man City 7? It's crazy. The team they've got. Spurs are in there. Everton are in there. Brighton are still creeping around as always. All right, next episode, though, we will have the Champions League. It is back, CSK Moscow, double-legged affair. Like I said, we could become champions, so you never know. I might make it a three-match special. Either way, I'll give you the main highlights from the Champions League. But in theory, we could win the league at home to Villa if we win all three games. Um, and then, yeah, we are pressing on. Like I said, I am still trying to get into a routine, a new job, where I can get you at least two or three videos a week like I used to do. So at the moment, I'm making sure you at least get one. But like I said, hopefully I can creep it up. Because I want to ideally, before the next FIFA comes out, which is what... August, September time, so what we've got now in May, June, July. Ideally, I want to get you one more season of this out so I can get the Euros in, but I'm going to have to really frame myself and get some more games on the go. <laughs> Even if I have to go to like six an episode or something and make it a bit more longer. Just a, longer? What the hell's a longer? Longer so then you can watch more games. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure it out. Either way, we'll get this season definitely done and we'll see where we're at in the month and see if we've got plenty of time to get this what final season, which will be what, season seven out or something like that. And then I'll decide what I'm doing. I have to see what the football game's like. Obviously, FIFA's no longer going to be FIFA. It's just going to be EAFC or whatever. Whether it's going to be free like PES this year, whether it's going to have career modes or the rest of it. 
We'll have to see, but somehow I will have some kind of football content out for you. Know, I love my football games. You know, for well, I'll, I'll bring that joy to your lives. But in the meantime, hit that like button for me. Thank you again for every brothers that do watch the videos, that do subscribe and tune in. All right, so hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. We are creeping towards 5,000 still, brothers. All right, peace and love, brothers. And I'll see you on the flip side. Peace.